Hey guys and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're doing a hands-on video in the bathroom and show you how to make a Mansfield toilet flush a whole lot better. Make sure you stay tuned to the video coming up next. Alright, what we've got here is a basic Mansfield Alto uh, 1.6 gallon ADA toilet. And um, sometimes people complain about how well they flush. It's actually a good toilet, good mechanism, very um, easy to use. So in about three minutes we're going to show you how easy it is step by step to make this a better flushing toilet. Okay, so the first thing you would do is turn the valve off underneath at the bottom okay, and flush the toilet. That's going to get any water inside the tank to drop down. Remove the tank lid. Put this in a safe place because if these are dropped or broken, you'll be in big trouble because they're hard to find. Okay, so after you flush the toilet, remove the refill tube, set that to the side, remove this top nut, this unscrews counterclockwise, set that to the side, lift the tank lever, and this piston comes up, and just pull that out. Okay, you see that there? Next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the link in the description for this flush valve. This is the Mansfield 210 flush valve. This flushes more water, 3.5 gallons per flush. Okay, but we're not gonna have to remove anything as far as the tank or anything to do this. This will be very simple. Move the top nut for this one. Set that to the side. Remove the top bell like you did before. Now, by the way, it does come with a new washer. So if it does leak, it might be worth changing that in the new one. I'll make a uh, video for this and put that in the description up top. If you compare these two, the difference is this bell comes up higher than this one does here. Okay? That means this one is going to allow 1.6. This one's going to stay up and float longer before it drops. This is going to give you three and a half gallons. So then you just reassemble with the new valve. So slide this over. Slide it down. Make sure you put the tank lever through the hoop. Drop it down. Screw the nut back on. Make sure you don't over tighten it because you don't want to break the threads. Okay, reinstall the refill tube, just put it in about half an inch, and then turn your valve back on, your tank will fill up, and it's guaranteed to flush better, okay? That rides up and down just like the other one did. And this can be spare parts if you have one break, okay? Thanks a lot guys for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below, give us a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe. You guys have a great day.